All right, and wrapping up the series, we got the top five hot toys announced for Star Wars in 2020. This is Six Scale Economist. Let's jump right into it. All right, so taking the number five spot, we have the Death Trooper from the Mandalorian. I know, obviously, this is basically just a reissue, um, but it was announced in 2020. Technically, it is for a new show, so I am going to include it in the list. Um, this figure was an amazing release when it was first released for Rogue One. It's an amazing release again, you know, with the Mandalorian. I spoke very highly of this figure in my review. Uh, super pumped to get it. The amount of figures that this goes well with, again, is one of those figures that just goes on and on. You can display him with Director Krennic. You can display him with Stormtroopers. You can display him with the Mandalorian. You can display him with the eventual Moth Gideon that I'm sure we're going to get. You can display him with so many figures. Um, so, you know, it's a very... It's just like a very cool trooper, and it goes well with your Rogue One shelves. It goes it will go well with your Mandalorian shelves. Hot Toys is giving you a second chance to get a figure that has already proved to be so successful in the secondary market. If you are getting just getting into Hot Toys and you missed the first release, or you just missed or slept on the first release altogether, don't skip out on it again. Don't make the same mistake twice. It's very rare that you know Hot Toys blesses us with a with a with a reissue like this, and so you got to seize these opportunities. This is an amazing figure, and you know very solid and number five for me. All right, claiming the number four spot to me, surprising to some people, I'd imagine, because it is just a repaint, I've got the vintage color version of Boba Fett. Um, look, I started collecting Star Wars toys with the vintage collection, you know, probably about 10 years ago. You know, seeing the, vin the you know, Boba Fett on the vintage car back was always amazing. I have all of the Boba Fetts from that line. And so, like, to be able to, to see Hot Toys, like, pay homage to Kenner, you know, the company, you know, they started it all in Ohio, like, little toy shop, basically, um, is just fantastic. And... And this this figure is just going to resonate with a lot of people. Like getting it on this like new, new design box, like I think looks great. And then overall, I think the figure looks really cool. Um, I, I'm a fan of the animated Boba Fett. Um, you know, similar idea in that it was just basically a repaint of the Empire Strikes Back Boba Fett, and I'm a fan of this one as well. Um, I think I don't think it looks that different to the Empire Strikes Back version. Um, you know, which is kind of unfortunate, but again, this is how he was. You know, how how he was originally released. You know, from from Kenner. So. I think it's a, um, I think it's a great release. I think it was a really smart move by Hot Toys to do this for the 40th anniversary. And I'm super excited about it. I personally already have mine on pre-order. Um, and overall, just a fantastic release. You know, great, solid spot at number four for me. All right, now we're getting into some real heat. This is where, again, where it started to get challenging. But at the number three spot, I got to give it to Clone Wars Anakin. You know, obviously this figure was just recently announced at SideshowCon 2020. Um, it's Anakin Skywalker. It's it's there's there's you can't overstate how well this figure does in the secondary market how much demand there is for this figure with the light side Anakin and dark side Anakin and giving us a Clone Wars Anakin is going to fit right into the whole puzzle piece like fit right into the puzzle like this is now going to be my second favorite Anakin dark side being first light side being third um, but I was super I was I was pumped to see this release and like if you haven't checked out my individual review of this figure make sure to check it out but like I can't speak highly of this like I can't speak more highly of this figure. Um, I'm very excited for it. Like, I'm a huge fan of the Clone Wars, huge fan of Anakin. I think this shot right here with Anakin next to Obi Wan is is just fantastic. And um, you know, I think that they gave us a, a pretty good amount of accessories to come with. Personally, for me, I have this version on pre-order. I don't think I need the STAP or the STAP, but um, overall, this is just an awesome release. And there's so many great figures again in 2020 that it's crazy that this one, as great of a release it is for me, is still even at number three. But I think it's just a testament to how many great, you know, hot toy announcements uh, Hot Toys gave us for 2020. Claiming the number two spot, I've got the Mandalorian and Child Deluxe. Look, when we saw the first issue of the Mandalorian by Hot Toys, everybody was saying, "Where give us, you know, give us Beskar um, Mandalorian, give us a deluxe set where it comes with him and the child in the pod." And Hot Toys said, "Yep." Uh, we're just going to give you exactly what you asked for. They absolutely crushed it with this release. You know, it's so awesome to be a collector. I've said this time and time again. It's so awesome to be a collector for, for Hot Toys, like especially coming from Hasbro with Vintage Collection Black Series, where you can tell Hasbro like a million different times what you want to, what figures you want to see get released, and they just won't do it. But with Hot Toys, we just told them, like, give us a deluxe set with the best car outfit and the deluxe child. And they were like, okay, cool. We're just going to give you exactly what you asked for. They absolutely crushed this release, giving us two versions of, you know, Baby Baby Yoda with the deluxe set, which is the set that I have on pre-order, giving us the pod. He looks so awesome with his best car outfit. You get the jetpack, you get the flame effects, you get it all. This is one of those figures I literally don't think there's anything else this figure could have came with. Um, everything that I would have wanted, it came with. It came with, you know, the, the large gun. It came with the small gun. It comes with the different hands. It comes with two Baby Yodas. It even comes with, like, the best car, like... 
like carrying thing, which is like dope. You know, flame effects, jetpack, outfit, insignia on the on the uh, on the armor. Everything about this figure is just absolutely fantastic. I, I cannot be more excited for this figure. Definitely one of the figures I'm most excited for um, to get released, even though we still haven't gotten the first issue of The Mandalorian. But overall, just barely edged out again for the number one spot, but very solid at number two. This figure is amazing. And before we get to the number one, gotta give two honorable mentions. So for the first one, I'm giving the honorable mention to the Empire Strikes Back Darth Vader 40th anniversary release. Um, the reason why this one didn't make it my t in, into my top five, um, honestly, like it probably should have been in my top five. Um, this is my favorite version of Darth Vader. This is the Darth Vader that I have in my collection, as opposed to having the Rogue One version. Um, it was, it's a great re-release for anybody that didn't pick up the Darth Vader, uh, you know, on the first go around, um, or like doesn't have this version of the Darth Vader and wants it. But for me, the reason why it didn't just, it just didn't make it in, is because um, it's. It's not like it's not like the Death Trooper where like if you already had one Death Trooper like you can still pick up the second one like you don't really need to pick up a second version of the Darth Vader unless you are really a hardcore Kenner fan and want to just leave this one in box which is totally cool but for me um it was just like too much of a re-release and and so like being someone that already has the Empire Strikes Back Darth Vader I don't need to pick this one up um but if you don't have darth vader and you want one for your collection do not miss this one again we've seen what the empire strikes back darth vader did before it got reissued got to as much as 500 dollars in the secondary market i have i expected this figure to do something very similar again so if you don't have this one grab it other one going to the mandalorian scenario trooper i know i haven't done an individual review of this figure yet. i promise i will i thought i did but i guess i just missed it but um i really like this figure as well not my top five but I think it looks really cool. It's unique. It's a it's an awesome storm you know type of stormtrooper to have um, on the shelf. I like that it's not totally red like the Sith trooper. I like that it's just you know white with hits of red, and I think it's going to really pop on the shelf. And uh, while it didn't make it into my top five because of how much heat we got in 2020, no pun intended, um, definitely a great announcement by Hot Toys. The number one figure, an absolutely outstanding release by Hot Toys probably definitely in my probably my top, definitely i would say in my top three favorite star wars hot toys that you know hot toys has announced captain rex from the clone wars everybody was saying give us clone wars figures why haven't you given us clone wars figures? Like, get the license you know start making some clone wars hot toys and once again a testament to hot toys they said bang we're gonna do it and there it is for you and not only they're gonna do it they're gonna do it perfectly he is fantastic everything you could have wanted i can't even and like the fact that he comes with a jetpack too um is just fantastic i thought that one episode you know in, in season seven where they're like under the under the bridge and come like flying out i thought that was so sick and um i'm so happy that they gave him a jetpack i mean there's nothing else i would have wanted from this figure period they gave me everything that i would have wanted they even gave me like the ahsoka um you know helmet they give you the amazing portrait of, of captain rex you know, the binoculars, the the jetpack, the guns, like his iconic like two blasters, like this pose, every pose, him posed with Commander Cody, him posed with Anakin, him posed with Anakin Clone Wars, the list goes on and on. Him posed with you know, uh, clone troopers. This is the number one figure that I am most anticipating over any other figure. Why I don't think that this figure is going to be the best performing figure in the secondary market of all other hot toys. Putting all that investment stuff aside, from a collector's perspective, this is everything that I wanted, and I'm so excited to have this figure. Um, and just an absolute knockout by Hot Toys. It's gonna be for me. It's gonna be hard for them to top like any other release for a while for for Star Wars Hot Toys. Um, this one is just fantastic for me, an absolute no brainer, number one. All right, and that's gonna wrap it up for the figures announced in 2020 so far for Hot Toys. You know I had to give the crown to Captain Rex. I absolutely love that figure. Um, but let me know in the comment section down below, what do you guys think are the uh, you know your favorite figures so far announced from 2020? Um, do you agree with my list? Do you think Captain Rex is the n number one no-brainer for me? Do you think the Mandalorian Deluxe should be the number one no-brainer for me? Or maybe it's uh, you know Anakin Skywalker from Clone Wars. Let me know in the comment section down below. This is Six Scale Economist, and we'll see you in the next video. Wanted to add one more clip into this video. I know this is at the end of the video, so if you're still watching this, make sure to hit the like button. You guys are the true fans, you know, watching the video all the way through. But uh, the channel has grown substantially, um, you know, just starting after like two and a half months, we're already almost at 500 subs. So thank you for all the support. Continue to sub, hit that notification bell. Uh, let's keep chugging along. Let's push to a thousand subs and uh, we'll be able to make some great things happen. I got a lot of things planned for the channel. Make sure to keep tuning into the live streams because there's a lot of great content that's going to be, you know, coming coming our way in this channel vlogs reviews 
um, tons of different videos upgrading the the technology that we're using so a lot of great things just keep growing the channel i appreciate all of your support and as always we will see you in the next video Thank <laughs> you.